here in England, PlayStation has just updated its PlayStation Plus subscription service. Here's a video of why Sony has just robbed me of a copy of Tekken 2. Sony's just updated his PlayStation Plus subscription system to include multiple tiers. One of them lets you download PlayStation 1 games for your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, but you don't have to pay for them if you already bought them on the PlayStation 3. As an owner of a glorious PlayStation 3 with many, many PlayStation 1 digital titles which I bought back in the day, some of them, which I originally bought, have now been re-released on the PlayStation 5. So, as you can see in this list, I've got Abe's Odyssey, I've got Resident Evil, I've got Jumping Flash, and I've got Tekken 2. Jumping Flash is an excellent game. I was actually really excited to play it. I was also excited to see what the differences were between the PlayStation 3 digital version and the PlayStation 5 digital version. This is the PlayStation 1 digital version running on a PlayStation 3. As you can see, the graphics and resolution, everything is very similar to what it would have been on a PlayStation 1. I'm not using any of the upscaling features because they're not that good. The good point about this is if you have the memory card adapter, and your old PlayStation 1 saves on a memory card, you can just transfer them over. Now we move over to the PlayStation 5 and jump in flash on there. Now this is the native PS5 version of the download. So you can see how it looks here. I think it just looks a lot better. There's a higher resolution. It just looks nicer than the PS3 version. Obviously the only downside here is that you can no longer transfer your PS1 saves across because the memory card reader is not recognized by the PlayStation 5. Even though it's USB, so it should be able to really. But like I said earlier, I didn't have to pay for this. I got it free, even though I'm not a member of the higher tier on PlayStation Plus. Got it free because I paid it on the PlayStation 3 and so that means it's free for me to get on the PlayStation 5. As to is Resident Evil and Abe's Odyssey but if we move over to Tekken 2 even though I have it on the PlayStation 3 I don't get it on the PlayStation 5. Why is that? Is that an oversight? Is it some sort of weird thing going on PlayStation Plus? We just don't know but either way I've been knocked and Sony owe me a Tekken 2. Anyway, that's it. This is just a quick video I wanted to make, hopefully to draw some attention so Sony give me back my Tekken 2. Right, that's it. Bye-bye.